At the heart of Australia's national identity lies the moniker, the lucky country, a testament to its remarkable economic success and geopolitical influence. Blessed with abundant natural resources, a vast and diverse landmass, and a stable political environment, Australia's potential for growth appears limitless. However, the nation's journey to prosperity has been far from straightforward. Facing unique challenges like the vast and unforgiving outback and the effects of climate change, Australia has had to adapt and innovate to maintain its position as a global economic powerhouse. Undoubtedly, the success of the Australian experiment transcends simple luck, and as the old adage suggests, the more the more you sweat, the luckier you get. The foundations of Australia's economic success can be traced back to its colonial past. As a British colony, Australia reaped the benefits of European settlers arriving with technology, capital and know-how. This influx of resources laid the groundwork for the country's initial economic growth and development. The discovery of gold in the 1850s served as a significant turning point in Australia's economic history, sparking a gold rush that attracted a wave of immigrants from around the world. The population boom not only boosted domestic demand for goods and services, but also stimulated international trade, as gold exports attracted foreign capital and helped establish Australia's reputation as a resource-rich nation. Following World War II, Australia embarked on an ambitious nation-building program aimed at developing its infrastructure and industrial capabilities. The government invested heavily in a range of large-scale projects that would reshape the country's economic landscape. One such project was the Snowy Mountains Hydroelectric Scheme, a complex system of dams, tunnels and hydroelectric power stations that provided a reliable source of electricity and water for irrigation. Completed in 1974, the scheme remains the largest engineering project in Australian history and continues to play a crucial role in the nation's energy and water supply. Another significant infrastructure development during this period was the construction of the Trans-Australian Railway, which connected the east and west coasts of the country. Completed in 1917, this railway facilitated the movement of goods and people across the vast Australian continent, further promoting economic growth. Alongside these infrastructure projects, the Australian government also implemented policies to foster industrialisation. Efforts were made to establish and expand industries such as steel production, automotive manufacturing and textiles. For example, the establishment of the Commonwealth Scientific and Industrial Research Organisation, CSIRO, in 1949, aimed to boost scientific research and innovation in support of Australia's growing industries. In addition to infrastructure and industrialisation, Australia's post-war immigration policies also contributed to its economic success. The government actively encouraged immigration to address labour shortages and stimulate economic growth. As a result, Australia's population became increasingly diverse and the country's labour force expanded, providing the necessary human capital for sustained economic development. Programmes such as the Assisted Passage Migration Scheme, which offered subsidised travel to prospective migrants, helped attract skilled workers from Europe and beyond, further bolstering the nation's growing economy. Australia's vast landmass, diverse climate and unique ecosystems have endowed the nation with an abundance of natural resources. The country possesses significant reserves of minerals such as iron ore, coal, gold and natural gas which have been vital to its economic growth. Mining and resource extraction have been central to Australia's export-oriented economy, with countries like China, Japan and South Korea as its primary markets. In recent years, Australia's GDP growth rate has averaged around 2.5% annually, with a GDP per capita of approximately $60,000, reflecting the country's strong economic performance. In addition to its mineral wealth, Australia boasts a thriving agricultural sector. With vast expanses of arable land and favourable weather conditions, the country has become a significant exporter of agricultural products, such as wheat, beef and wool. The agricultural industry also benefits from advanced farming practices, research and development, and efficient supply chain. This has enabled Australia to maintain a competitive edge in global markets and contribute to the nation's overall economic prosperity. Australia's stable political environment has been a foundational pillar of its economic success. The country's democratic system, characterised by a strong rule of law, robust institutions and a transparent political process, has facilitated the implementation of sound economic policies and effective governance. This stability has fostered a business-friendly environment that encourages investment and growth. The country consistently ranks high on the World Bank's Ease of Doing Business Index, reflecting its transparent regulatory environment and commitment to economic freedom. 
This standing has attracted foreign investment, bolstering Australia's economic growth and ensuring the continued development of its industries. Moreover, Australia's political stability has allowed it to forge strong trade relationships with global powers, such as the United States and China. These relationships have further contributed to the nation's economic success by expanding market access for Australian exports and facilitating the exchange of technology, capital and expertise. Australia's economic success can also be attributed to its prudent and forward-looking economic policies, which have been shaped by a combination of institutional economics, industry policy, and a certain level of skepticism towards neoliberalism. While the country has pursued a strategy of economic liberalization and embraced globalization and free trade, it has done so in a way that maintains a balance between market forces and government intervention, ensuring sustainable growth and development. One example of economic liberalization measures in Australia is the gradual reduction of tariffs and import quotas since the 1980s, which has opened up the domestic market to increased competition and allowed Australian businesses to access global supply chains. By lowering trade barriers, Australia has facilitated the expansion of its export-oriented industries and attracted foreign investment. As a result, the country has established strong trade relationships with major economies such as China, Japan and the United States, leading to increased demand for Australian goods and services. On the other hand, Australia has also recognised the importance of industry policy in shaping its economic landscape. In sectors such as automotive manufacturing and renewable energy, the government has provided targeted support, including financial incentives and R&D grants, to encourage investment and innovation. This approach has helped develop key industries and create high-quality jobs, while also addressing the country's long-term economic and environmental goals. Regarding monetary and fiscal policies, the Reserve Bank of Australia RBA, and the federal government have taken a pragmatic approach, striking a balance between market-driven policies and government intervention. The RBA has successfully managed inflation by setting interest rates in a way that maintains price stability and supports economic growth. This approach has fostered a stable macroeconomic environment, which has bolstered investment to confidence and encourage businesses to invest and expand. In terms of fiscal policy, Australia has generally pursued a disciplined approach to public spending and taxation, which has contributed to sustainable public debt levels. However, the government has also demonstrated a willingness to use fiscal policy as a tool for economic management when necessary, as evidenced by the stimulus measures implemented during the global financial crisis. By providing targeted support to affected industries and investing in infrastructure projects, the government was able to mitigate the economic impact of the crisis and support a swift recovery. While Australia has undoubtedly benefited from embracing economic liberalisation and globalisation, it has done so with a keen awareness of the potential pitfalls of neoliberalism. The country has managed to strike a balance between the benefits of open markets and the need for government intervention to address market failures and support long-term economic and social goals. This pragmatic approach, rooted in institutional economics and industry policy, has played a crucial role in Australia's continued growth and development. Furthermore, Australia has invested in education and skills development, ensuring a highly skilled workforce capable of meeting the demands of the modern economy. These investments have helped cultivate a competitive and innovative business environment, spurring growth in various sectors, including technology and services. For instance, Australia has emerged as a leader in fintech, with successful startups like Afterpay and Airwallex, as well as being a hub for research and development in fields such as quantum computing and artificial intelligence. Despite its economic achievements, Australia faces several challenges in the years ahead that will require careful navigation and adaptation. One such challenge is the country's reliance on natural resource exports, which makes it vulnerable to fluctuations in global commodity prices. To mitigate this risk, Australia must diversify its economy, fostering growth in other sectors such as advanced manufacturing, services and technology. For instance, the government could provide incentives for the development of innovative industries like biotechnology, information technology and advanced materials, creating new job opportunities and reducing dependency on resource exports. Another challenge is the ongoing threat of climate change, which presents risks to Australia's agricultural sector and its unique ecosystems. Addressing this challenge will require investments in renewable energy, sustainable agriculture and climate-resilient infrastructure. The Australian government could ramp up its support for research and development in renewable energy technologies, such as solar, wind and battery storage, while also setting ambitious targets for renewable energy adoption. Additionally, promoting sustainable agriculture practices, such as precision farming, water-efficient irrigation and soil conservation, can help protect Australia's agricultural sector from the impacts of climate change. Investments in climate-resilient infrastructure, including improved flood defences, storm-resistant buildings and upgraded transportation networks, can 
can help reduce the long-term costs and damage associated with extreme weather events. By doing so, Australia can not only protect its environment, but also tap into the growing global market for clean energy technologies and sustainable solutions. Additionally, as the geopolitical landscape continues to evolve, Australia must navigate shifting power dynamics and trade relationships. Strengthening ties with regional partners and diversifying trade partners will be essential to maintaining its economic resilience in an uncertain global environment. To achieve this, Australia can take an active role in regional organisations such as the Association of Southeast Asian Nations ASEAN, and the Pacific Islands Forum, engaging in dialogue and cooperation on key issues such as trade, security and climate change. By forging stronger partnerships with countries in the Indo-Pacific region, Australia can ensure it has a diverse network of trading partners, reducing reliance on any single market and bolstering its economic resilience. Furthermore, Australia could explore opportunities to participate in regional trade agreements and multilateral initiatives that promote open and fair trade. By diversifying its trading partners and deepening economic integration with a wider range of countries, Australia can better navigate geopolitical challenges and maintain its position as a thriving and prosperous nation in the face of global uncertainty. Australia's abundant natural resources and stable political environment have propelled it to impressive economic heights, earning it the moniker, the lucky country. As it navigates the challenges of climate change, economic diversification, and shifting geopolitical landscapes, Australia's ability to adapt and innovate will determine its continued success. In a world that is constantly evolving, Australia stands as a testament to resilience and growth, leaving many to wonder whether the lucky country will indeed strike gold again in the future, or if its luck will eventually run out. Thank you for tuning in to this episode of Meridian Mindset. If you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and click the subscribe button below to support our channel. We'd also love to hear your thoughts on the topic, so please leave a comment and join the conversation.